you might be asking yourself what is he doing with this step promoter looking thing and his bicycle well it actually isn't a step promoter it's an industrial servo motor i got it from work where they threw it in the trash because it probably came out of an old machine and it wasn't used anymore because it was really filthy they were both filled with uh, a lot of oil and uh, other gunk everything the screw heads were filled with gunk and everything was very dirty and i have uh, gotten two of these motors there they are i think identical and on the one i will use in this video i took out the brake it has a brake that um, activates when the motor is shut off i took that out and it also has a, a like a positioning sensor in there but not the optical one but an electrical one i don't think it is going to be <laughs> or it is a very accurate one um, here you can see this uh, brake mechanism that i took out of the one out of the one motor and i um, took some measurements on these motors to see how much uh, power they would be able to generate or what voltage because they are basically just a three phase motor of some kind so i hooked up um, the voltage meter and as you can see it uh, produced about uh, 4.6 vol volts between uh, two of the cables and then I uh, went and looked between uh, all the cables and started writing them down one by one and uh, unfortunately I tested all the cables uh, combined with the white cable which um, turns out to be a signal cable of some sort so uh, they all basically gave out uh, 4.7 volts which um, is not a lot for these RPM and not really useful to me but uh, I eventually figured out that if you take um, the black and the brown cable you get 38 volts for the same amount of rotational speed and then uh, the brown and the blue cable are the other two phases so it's black brown and blue that are the three um, main coils in this thing. My plan for this video is to um, mount this motor to my bicycle to use as a generator so I can test out how much power um, this thing can produce because um, I'm planning to use this motor maybe this motor or something else to um, put on on the small windmill that uh, is currently on top of my workshop and for that I want to use um, a motor and I need to figure out what motor or generator it would be that um, would uh, generate the useful voltage and the uh, amount of current that is uh, usable here I thought about uh, different kinds of mounting, different uh, ways of mounting this motor to the bike. And the first one that I tried with this um, bracket and there in between, it probably would have worked, but um, it would have kind of been semi-permanent. So I uh, came up with my dad with a different way of mounting it by just mounting it to the to the holder on the back of my bike so I can uh, just easily take it off if I need to this um, made the installation also a, a bit easier because I could just use um, some simple brackets that uh, we already had
this is all very unaccurate, very uh, improvised. I just uh, drew it there <laughs> on the on the piece of metal, and then I just um, center punched it somewhere a bit in from that corner, and then um, I just used these uh, holes. I drilled the holes and then used them to um, to just mount it on the on the holder on the back of my bicycle. The holes I'm drilling here are uh, seven millimeter in seven millimeters in diameter. I will use them for uh, M6 bolts. Seven millimeters is a big, a, a bit big for a M6 bolt, but um, it's just more wiggle room and it doesn't matter on this rough prototype. And it's just um, so I see how. Um, how much power this motor can produce when uh, spinning it at a certain RPM. Obviously, you can never forget the chamfer on all the holes, on all the parts. It's very essential. Then I put it uh, on the bicycle again and I put in um, just two screws. So I could more easily mark the position for the generator on the plate. Because uh, that's the easiest way to, to actually mark these just by putting it right there you can see <laughs> it's also very rough but um, it will work and now after mounting the motor on the bicycle with the plate we are ready to give the test and see how much uh, voltage this motor will produce and how much uh, you can power with with this motor I uh, first just um, put it on and then I measured how much uh, voltage I got out of, of the motor and it just spins uh, without any load on it and it went up to 280 volts which is a lot it's actually uh, even dangerous and could uh, kill you so don't do that and then I put the 60 watt um, incandescent light bulb on it and uh, it actually lit up and that was um, very impressive didn't even feel like um, it, a huge load it was like like driving up a, a slight incline and with that thank you for watching this week's video if you liked it you should subscribe and like this video if you're wondering what this is a uh, what kind of 3d printer this is this is a 3d printer that i designed and built more than two years ago now and i will be uh, making some upgrades on it as well as on my other 3d printer my endo 3 that i use uh, all the time so i can uh, actually use them and with that thank you and until next week <laughs>